Though not included as an official agenda item of the summit, much attention was on Japan's wartime forced labor issue. While Prime Minister Kishida made a rare personal statement on the issue, he once again stopped short of a direct apology. Our foreign affairs correspondent Pei Yunji has more. Unsurprisingly, the message that Japan's Prime Minister Kishida gave on forced labor victims was not that much different from the one he gave when he met President Yoon in March, as he still avoided using the word apology. But for the first time, he did say that he felt heartbroken for those who had to work in difficult conditions, apparently referring to the Korean victims of wartime forced labor. As I said when President Yoon visited Tokyo in March, our government's stance remains and will continue to remain that we uphold the historical recognition made by previous cabinets, including the joint declaration made in October 1998. My heart aches for those who had to work under difficult conditions at the time. Japan has been saying that it would continue to, quote, uphold the stance on previous cabinets including the joint declaration between former leaders of the two countries, made in 1998, without using the word apology. The joint statement between former South Korean President Kim Dae-jung and former Japanese Prime Minister Keizo Obuchi includes Tokyo's deep remorse and heartfelt apology for causing tremendous damage and suffering to Koreans during its colonial rule. In response to Kishida's latest remarks, a senior official from Seoul's presidential office noted that President Yoon expressed gratitude and said he hopes this will enhance cooperation between the two countries. While meeting Kishida on Sunday, he stressed that it's important to let go of the past and move forward. Since President Yoon took office in May last year, his administration has been pushing to mend ties with Japan. Seeking to improve relations, the South Korean government in March laid out plans to solve the long-standing dispute over compensation for people subjected to forced labor by Japan, through funds secured by Korean companies instead of the accused Japanese firms. The victims and supporting civic groups protested, saying this issue cannot be resolved without sincere apologies and participation by the Japanese companies that are responsible. But President Yoon on Sunday reiterated that the government is not willing to change its plan on this issue. Pelunzi, Arirang News.